Okay, so the first card is respect. Uh, you might be having conflict with an elder. Uh, you have earned, they have earned respect. Uh, make more of an effort and a greater harmony will come. So uh, you are, it looks like you have uh, dealings with somebody that's older than you. We're having a little bit of a, a difference in opinion over here. So, uh, you know, um, it says just make a little bit of an effort. Uh, maybe don't be too conf confrontational when dealing with them. And this will bring about harmony. And that's probably a better way to solve the situation than having to go, you know, um, go out against them and uh, oppose whatever they've got to say. Uh, you know, sometimes it's very difficult to change your ways as you get older. So um, you've got the guidance card over here. Someone has or is about to enter your life as a teacher. A great opportunity to advance. You may decide to go back to school um, to further your education. Guidance may come in many forms. Listen to your intuition. So there's either somebody going to give you advice or you're planning on going back into study, it seems. Maybe you want to further your uh, career by going and getting more skills or improving your skill set. So this uh, could well be coming in for you soon. Uh, and you've got self-reliance over here. You will not be able to rely on anyone at this time of your life. Know that this is only a temporary situation. Your strength and hard work will get you through this crisis. So rely on your own intuition. You know, rely on yourself. Uh, you have what it takes to actually succeed in this uh, and have that confidence knowing that, you know, whatever decisions you're making, are the, you know, it's probably going to be the right one. Um, you have um, You have also a lot of wisdom uh, so, you know, learn to trust in your own instincts. So in the past, you've got the security card over here, which said you were about to enter um, a part of your life where you can now relax and enjoy the beginning of prosperity and successful ventures, a sense of security with career finances and relationships. So you, you went through a difficult period and now you've, um, you know, it seems like recently you've entered a period of security. So you're able to now put down roots uh, and feel a little better. Maybe you went through a very difficult time. Um, you know, maybe there was a lot of loss, but things look like they're coming, uh, you know, coming around and, and turning for the better. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune seems to be bringing in that security that you'd be looking for. Then you've got the guilt card in the future, which says you seem to be harboring guilt um, of the past about uh, children, divorce, or any actions that you may have taken. So seek a solution and move on. Learn how to overcome guilt and forgive yourself. So I think you should just really stop worrying about whatever's happened in the past. Um, you know, it's whatever's happened has happened. It's finished. It's done with. And it's now time to let it go and move forward. Don't keep... Uh, reliving that situation over and over in your head it doesn't bring any uh resolution and uh, you know you can't change the past at the end of the day so you you really have to let it go and move on so you know let it go um and move on and think positively uh, and that will get you uh um you know uh towards your goals rather than going on uh thinking about the past and what you could have done and what was not done you know that does never helps anything so I'm just going to draw some cards from the tarot apocalypsis right now. I have shuffled this deck. Let's see. So we've got the Ace of Swords over here. So this is cutting out the past, really. Things that have not served you and moving forward. And it's moving forward with a lot of certainty. So some kind of new idea, some kind of new power coming back into your hands again. Uh, you know, your individuality, um, your confidence also coming in with this Ace of Swords. Now, this could also be that you're dealing with some kind of legal situation. But with this Ace of Swords, if there was some uh, legal problem that you were dealing with, it shows that you will win the situation. Because the Ace of Swords is about victory. And it is you know, speaking your truth and that, um, you know, the justice uh, is in your hands. So uh, whatever situation you're dealing with, um, if it was unfair, you will be the one that... Um, you know, wins in the end, really. So what's happening with you? You've got the world card and the five of swords. So you were going through a very, very difficult situation. Maybe there was a lot of verbal abuse. Uh, there was some kind of uh, abuse going on over here. And I say verbal because the swords is about, you know, the air. It's about speaking. It's not physical abuse. Uh, maybe you, um, you know, it's something that attacked your confidence. It made you feel very small. It, this person that you were dealing with was uh, very nasty. They had sneaky, snipe, sneak, sneaky and sly behavior. <laughs> 
sneaky, a sneaky and sly behavior, really. Um, tongue twisters. Um, and you have had to deal with them. And you felt very defeated in that particular situation. With the world card, you can see this woman sitting there with a the sword in hand. So you are going to win the situation. Also, this particular nastiness has will come to an end so something will go in your favor you will win that situation and whatever this difficult uh, person is or people that you were dealing with that particular situation is now coming to an end that cycle is finished and it's a major arcana card over here the world card which means it's definitely coming to an end um and you know even if you don't have to do anything uh you will now be able to move away from that situation and you're being given back the power in your hand you can see she's got that ace of swords in her hands so this power is being presented to you and you are getting that power back in your hand again with this ace of swords now, it looks like there was some kind of situation you were dealing with. Uh, you needed to have some sort of strategy and cunning to sort it out. This could have been a legal situation. There looks like there may have been a breakdown of communication between you and the other person, and you were waiting for a decision to be made, or you were trying to make a decision. Um, you've got the Princess of Pentacles over here, so this is um, you know, a new job or new prospect. So whatever, while you're waiting for this legal situation, you, you may have started something brand new as far as the work front goes. You've been working very hard, very focused on your money. Um, this could have been a legal decision even involving your money as well, because this is the Prince of Pentacles. Um, so, you know, this could have been something that involved money and that you were waiting for that legal decision as well. There might have been a little bit of deception going on as well. The Five of Swords is always about deception, somebody else winning a situation. Um, uh, some something unfair going on over here, and you've been focused a lot on your work, working very very hard to um, you know accumulate finances as well. And you've been trying to move away from a very difficult situation. So whatever happened was there was some drama that happened. So you've got that five of swords over here, and then you've got the six of swords in your mind. So you are moving away from it, even though you're alone here and trying to sort out this problem. You can see this woman's got the ace of swords in her hand. So the power is coming back into your hand, uh, and you are getting away from a situation. You are walked away from a very difficult situation. You may have, might have been dealing with a group of people. You've got the Five of Swords over here. So a group of people giving you a lot of grief, a lot of problems, and you are now moving away from it. This is more of a place of safety, really. So you are coming out of that situation that might have been dangerous. You've got the Three of Swords over here. So uh, whatever happened, if it was a relationship a problem there was a breakdown of communication over here you can see blood over these white roses so whatever that um situation was you know you, what you thought it was about was not at all what it was sort of lies deception it caused a lot of heartbreak there was also a lot of dis, uh, you know um uh, it looks like uh you know you've been almost um this looks like this, there's so much of blood here as much as being a death of a particular situation. So it was a very innocent situation how you saw it because you saw it as the, these white roses. You know, you thought it was a very pure, innocent situation. But there was lies and deception and cheating and nastiness that happened. A lot of obstacles over here. So a lot of problems that were caused and a complete breakdown in, in that um, situation. It seems like there might have been three three people involved as well so you are trying to get over this heartbreak uh that you've been dealing with and there might be legal consequences to whatever happens so this could well be a divorce but you know you are coming out of it you are going to be a winner so even though there might have been something that was deceitful uh you are going to be a person who comes out of it victorious now you've got the prince of wands and this is your card because this is um a fire wands rules the fire signs the prince of wands is somebody taking control of that situation so you are taking your power back you can see he's got the wand in his hand over here now you might be thinking of travel you might be thinking of changing your job uh, but you are definitely getting your power back he's got that wand in his hand and this is signifying the rising sun here in Greek, um, uh, sorry, Egyptian mythology. So you are taking back control of that situation. You are coming back into your power again. Like I said, it might be, you know, you might be communicating with a lot of people from foreign lands. You might be thinking of traveling. You might be thinking of changing your job or moving house as well. And if you've got the Eight of Swords over here, you're still feeling very, very stuck. Maybe whatever's been said or whatever's been done has tied your hands. This could be legal issues that you're dealing with and you know you feel like you're not making any headway as well. Um, these crows seem to be picking at these uh, strings over here and untying it. Maybe you're very anxious about things that are going on, things that you can't see that are happening around you. Um, but it seems like, you know... Uh, 
things, the truth will be revealed, everything will be unraveled, and you will be able to get unstuck from this situation. So, you know, don't let it tie you down or hold you back. Uh, you will be able to move away from it. And with this Ace of Swords of here, you will be able to soon have, you're going to get some kind of information, something that helps you cut these, these ropes, these chains that are binding you and free you from that situation. So what's in your hopes and fears? You've got the Four of Pentacles over here. So you've had some kind of financial loss, and you're trying to get back uh, you know, your um, financial status again, trying to accumulate wealth. So you are watching the pennies over there. You are trying to um, get back on track again. And so you are watching your money over here. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Devil. So the Ten of Pentacles, it's about ending an old financial situation. So something is coming to an end. This could be uh, where you were involved in a relationship where there was a shared, finance, shared finances going on over here. That is, cycle is coming to an end. You've got this huge mammoth over here, which was an elephant. So you've learned a lot. A lot of information has come your way, uh, and you're very wise. But it looks like you're severing ties from that relationship. And that relationship was based on money. So this could well be a divorce that you are overcoming. And this could be that you know, you're know uh, you severing ties, financial connections with this person. This could also mean that you're going to be getting some kind of payoff as well. Um, because there's some kind of, maybe there's an inheritance. Or maybe there is a, a settlement coming with this Ten of Pentacles. You've got the lover's card of here. There's a decision, a choice to be made. Um... And it's about, you could be dealing with a person who's a Capricorn, because this is the devil card. Um, but, it, you know, ending financial ties with this person, this devil person, the, the Capricorn person. Or it could be just ending, uh, you know, uh, making that decision about uh, cutting ties with somebody who's very negative and very toxic. Somebody who's very manipulative. And you're making a big decision over here to end that situation. Maybe you are tied up with this person on a financial basis and you're making that decision to actually sever those ties uh, um, with this person because they are so toxic and so negative and so manipulative as well. If this was a work situation, then you are changing jobs or ending that job situation. This is the decision that you are going to make. The devil card is also ruled by Saturn and it's also about work. So you might be ending that work uh, phase because maybe you know you were taken advantage of um, and you know you may be overworked underpaid as well for that particular job and maybe this is the reason why you're cutting this and trying to move on from it you've also got the world card of here which is also ruled by Saturn so if this um, a situation is about a work situation you're finishing off that cycle of work or finishing off that job and uh, ending ties with them, with the world card over here is also the end of that cycle of work and moving on to something else because you've got that sword in your hand going off and starting something brand new. So it looks what, like whatever that financial situation is uh, that has caused you all this distress, you are going to end ties or end or sever that link with them because it seems like whatever's happened has caused a lot of heartbreak, a lot of upset. For you, you are crying over it, still haven't gotten over, uh, you know, maybe there was a lot of deception, lies, deceit, something's gone wrong. But you are taking charge again and maybe moving off, maybe going on for a new, a new project somewhere else. Okay, I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Animal Tarot for the Oracle Read. So the first card is the King of Autumn, which says everything is going to turn out great. Projects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible. And money or resources that will come your way will be invested wisely. So it looks like even though you've gone through some uh, trying financial times, things are going to turn in your favor. You've got this King of uh, Autumn or the King of Pentacles over here, and things will turn out well so if you are leaving an old job and starting something new it looks like money is coming in this card signifies money coming in for you even if you have gone through a divorce or a separation or where you've had to sever ties uh financial ties with somebody it looks like you will move on to something else and money will come in for you you've got the awakening card over here which says look at things in a different way and all will make sense don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily temporarily uh, things will soon start moving again. So this is like the hangman card. So even though things feel like they are very much at a standstill, um, it will, it's just a temporary pause. Things will start moving soon. And you've got the princess of autumn. So maybe you're going to do some study. You've got this cat with all these books. 
And it says a wonderful new opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So maybe all of these endings are going to be are there for a reason so that you can go on to a new path or maybe start something brand new, uh, maybe, you know, further education or go down a different career path that brings in a lot will bring in a lot of money eventually so it looks like you are dealing with some circumstance where you're ending an old situation that involves finances there might be some legalities involved in as well in it but you're getting over the heartbreak and you are going you're taking back your control again and you will move forward um you know let go of the negativity and don't be negative in your thoughts as well uh, that cycle is coming to an end and you will be able to move forward and things will start going your way soon so I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.